Yes. Lay a big girl alone. She's in love, you know. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> yeah, but little Kimmy has chosen the worst of the worst. What in the world does she see in him anyway? She's just a Shakespearean pithy. Well, maybe she likes poetry. Well, hey, if she wants poetry, I'll give her poetry. I'll just spout off a little Shakespeare and a little Macbeth, and you bet your boot shoes just to come right back. Well, if you're going to do that, you're going to have to... Charge up your Shakespeare! <laughs> The girls today in society go for classical poetry. But to win their hearts, one must quote with ease from Aeschylus and Euripides. You must know Homer and believe me both. Sophocles also said, oh, oh, unless you know Shelley, and Keats and Pope, those dainty Debbies will think you're a dope. <laughs> but poet of them all, who will start him simply raven, is the poet people call the Lord of Stafford I Raven. Rush up your Shakespeare. Respond when you flatter her. Tell her what Tony told Cleopatra. <laughs> and if still she pretends to be shocked, well, just remind her that all's well that ends well. Brush up your Shakespeare and they'll all bow down. Brush up your Shakespeare. Be a ham and do Hamlet. They will not give a damn or a damlet. Just recite an occasional hoss on it, and your lap will have honey upon it. If your sweetie still begs you for pleasure, let her sample your measure for measure. Brush, <laughs> 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 